Hello there. In this video, you will be learning how to install and use support where to software. And you will also learn how to generate reports for your measurements. You will be requiring a PC or laptop with Windows operating system. Microsoft Office a communication cable and a handy surf plus 35 let's start first you will have to insert the CD or any other drives containing the software setup files after opening the drive you can see some set of folders Copy the files, and save them in your PC. Open the folder, named Supportware2. Double click on, supportwareinstaller.exe. A pop-up window will appear. Select your appropriate language, and click on OK button. Click on the next button. Click on the next button. Click on the install button. Now, you have two options. If you select the first option, your system gets restarted. So make sure that you have saved all your work and close all the windows before clicking the finish button. If you select the second option, you can restart your system later. So choose appropriately and then click on the finish button. Now the software is successfully installed. Open the software by double-clicking on the icon. Connect the HandySurf Plus to your PC, with the help of a USB cable. As soon as you connect the USB, you will get this symbol, on the screen. The connection between your PC, and Handy Surf Plus is established successfully. At first, you cannot see any equipment connected. Click on Connection Settings. Click on Addition. Enter the connection name. Select the appropriate connection equipment. Enter the equipment ID and click on OK. Now click on Close. Select the equipment as Handy Surf Plus and click on Update. A Handy Surf Plus icon will appear on the screen. Click on the icon. Now, Perform your measurement. Now click on Inspection Certificate Output Settings. First, enter the details in the Inspection Certificate area. Enter the serial number. Work name. Inspector and comment if required. Now, select Surfcom data and then select the first option available on the screen. As you can see, the measurement data is getting transferred from the equipment to the software. You can see the data is transferred successfully. 
You can also see the date and time, at which your measurement is done. Now, you can set the destination, where you would like to save your file. Enter the file name. You can see a set of previews, of how your report will look like. Select your appropriate style. Click on Apply. Now click on Inspection Certificate Creation. Your inspection certificate is generated successfully, 